This is one of multiple videos discussing Docker, IP Term, Python, and other emerging technologies. In a previous video, which I've linked below, I showed you how to install IP Term as a Docker container in GNS3. I also showed you how to connect an IP Term host to the internet and install Python on the host. In this video, I'm going to create a topology of two iOS V routers and two IP term hosts. Now in the past, if you wanted a lightweight PC in your GNS3 topologies, you would have had to, to use a VPCS. Now VPCS is good in that it's lightweight, but it's not good in that it doesn't give you a full Linux operating system. Whereas IP term running in a Docker container is both a lightweight and gives you the ability to install applications on the Linux operating system. So I've created a little topology here of two routers and two PCs, which I'll now start up. I'll open up a console. And what we should see in a moment is that our iOS V routers are booting up. The IP term devices are running in Docker containers, so they boot up almost instantly. But in this example, no IP addresses are configured on the IP term devices. So what I'll do here is configure them while the Cisco routers continue to boot up. So I'll stop the first IP term device, right click on it and select edit config. What I'm gonna do here is configure the device with static IP addresses. So I need to remove the comments in this file. And what I can do now is configure an IP address, default gateway, and name server. I'll copy that and save the configuration and start up the IP term device and open up a console. So the device boots almost immediately. So IP address allows me to see the IP address now allocated to the device. And I can ping the local IP address of the IP term PC. I'll do the same on this one, stop it edit the config, paste in the configuration from the other device and edit the IP addresses, save the config and start it up and open up a console. So here it is, IP address. We can see the IP address configured on the device. And again, it can ping itself. So now let's configure the routers. First router has booted. So has the second router. I'll bypass the initial configuration dialog of these two routers and then I'll configure them with IP addresses and routing protocols. So, so here we go. Conf T, host router two, interface gigabit zero zero, no shut it, give it an IP address of 10.1.2.1. Do ping 10.1.2.2. Router two can ping IP term host two. I'll configure an IP address on gigabit zero zero. And then I'll go on to router one, give it a host name, interface gigabit zero zero, no shut, IP address 10, one, one, 
one, two, five, five, two, five, five, two, five, five, zero. That should be able to ping the IP term PC, which it can. I'll do the ping again. So we can ping the host, put an IP address on the interface to router two. So that should now be able to ping router two, which it can. I'll enable OSPF on all interfaces in area zero. Do the same here. Enable OSPF on all interfaces in area zero. So show IP OSPF interface brief. OSPF is enabled on two interfaces. On this side, show IP OSPF neighbor. Neighbor relationship has gone to two way. So we simply need to wait for that neighbor relationship to be established. So on this PC, can we ping the other PC? Not at the moment, because we have to wait for OSPF to converge and exchange routes. The neighbor relationship has gone to X start. Loading has gone to full. So hopefully we should see the ping succeed and there you go. Host one can ping host two. And that's because the routes have now been learnt through OSPF. So again, host one can ping host two. And on this side, host two can ping host one. So that was a very simple example of how to configure a GNS3 topology using Cisco routers and a Docker-based Linux container, which has a lot of network commands such as route-n or trace route, which allows us to trace the route to the destination device. So we can see that the first hop was router one, then it's router two, and then we get to the destination device. This container also supports IPperf. So you could use IPperf to load your network as an example and do some testing. Through the use of Docker containers, it's now very easy to add new devices to your GNS3 topologies and to do very interesting things. Docker containers are also very lightweight. So you're saving a lot on the amount of memory allocated to your container. They also start up very, very quickly. In other words, you can spin them up or start them up or spin them down or shut them down very, very quickly. I wanna thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.